and give thanks to our God whose compassion, love without bounds, gather us here that we may celebrate the marvels our God has done. Sing of God's praise and sing music, proclaim. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family with hope and confidence in Him, we turn to God for the forgiveness of our sins, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit, coming near and dwelling graciously within us, may make of us a perfect temple of His glory. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul sent word from Miletus to Ephesus, summoning the elders of that church. When they came to him, he delivered this message. You know how I lived among you from the first day I set foot in the province of Asia. How I served the Lord in humility through the sorrows and trials that came my way from the plottings of certain Jews. Never did I shrink from telling you what was for your own good and from the teaching you in public or in private. With Jews and Greeks alike, I insisted solemnly on repentance before God and on faith in our Lord Jesus. But now, as you see, I am on my way to Jerusalem, compelled by the Spirit, and not knowing what will happen to me there. 
except that the Holy Spirit has been warning me from city to city that chains and hardships await me. I put no value on my life if only I can finish my race and complete the service to which I have been assigned by the Lord Jesus. Bearing witness to the gospel of God's grace, I know as I speak these words that none of you among whom I went about preaching the kingdom will ever see my face again. Therefore, I solemnly declare this day that I take the blame for no man's conscience, but I have never shrunk from announcing to you God's design in its entirety. The Word of the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. A bountiful rain you shower down, O God. Upon your inheritance you restored the land when it languished. Your flock settled in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided it for the needy. God, O kingdoms of the earth. Bless the day by day by the Lord who bears our burdens. God who is our salvation. God is a saving God for us. The Lord, my Lord, controls the passageways of death. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord said, I will not leave you orphans. I will come back to you and your hearts will rejoice. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, that your Son may give glory to you. Inasmuch as you have given him authority over all mankind, that he may bestow eternal life on those you gave him. Eternal life is this, to know you, the only true God, and him whom you have sent, Jesus Christ. I have given you glory on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. Do you now, Father, give me glory at your side, a glory I had with you before the world began? I have made your name known to those you gave me out of the world. These men you gave me were yours. They have kept your word. Now they realize that all that you gave me comes from you. I entrusted to them the message you entrusted to me, and they received it. They have known that in truth I came from you. They have believed it was you who sent me. For these I pray, not for the world, but for these you have given me, for they are really yours. Just as all that belongs to me is yours, so all that belongs to you is mine. It is in them that I have been glorified. I am in the world no more, but these are in the world as I come to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. From the first reading this morning, we heard this tearful farewell of St. Paul to the presbyters of the church at Ephesus. And in this farewell, St. Paul recalled for his listeners how he endured suffering and humiliation for the kingdom and seemingly oblivious to the dangers that await him in Jerusalem. Nothing would deter him from pursuing the mission he had received from the Lord not even threats of imprisonment, hardships, or death. Indeed, 
St. Paul fits the description of someone gifted with endurance, or another term for it is fortitude. The Catechism of the Catholic Church describes the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, and among them is fortitude. And of fortitude, it says, with the gift of fortitude or courage, we overcome our fear, and we are given a willingness to take risks as a follower of Jesus Christ. A person with courage is willing to stand up for what is right in God's sight, even if it means accepting rejection, verbal abuse, or even physical harm and death. That's what we would hear. From the Catechism. But let me add that the gift of fortitude gives strength to the soul, not only on exceptional occasions such as martyrdom and the like, but also in ordinary circumstances and difficulties. For example, in the struggle to remain consistent with one's principles in putting up with insults and unjust attacks, in courageous perseverance on the path of truth and uprightness despite lack of understanding, and often in occasions of hostility. Now we ask ourselves, where did St. Paul get this sense of fortitude? Well, as we have heard from the first reading, he seems to be undoubtedly full of the Holy Spirit. By the way, the saint whom we honor today, Saint Phil Philip Neri, received many mystical graces, the most telling of which was a mystical enlargement of his heart, which he described as being ignited with God's Spirit, making him an effective and joyful pastor in his time. Now back to St. Paul. We ask ourselves, what accountant for his courage, for his calmness? I think St. Paul took comfort and peace from the words of Jesus himself in the gospel we have just read. Father, I pray for them. I pray for the ones you have given me because they are yours and everything of mine is yours. These are very consoling words as they speak of God's abiding love and solicitude. And these words are, sp are spoken with such tenderness that can only come from someone who cherish his children so much. And so now why we understand why St. Paul remained calm, even amid tribulations. He remained grateful. All his letters would start with, we let us thank the Lord. He remained grateful, even when he languished in prison, writing letters of consolations and encouragement to the early Christian communities. My friends, this prayer of Jesus is for the disciples as much as it is for ours, for us. It may seem incredible because I know we normally think of praying to God. It doesn't come across to us that Jesus and God is praying, are praying for us as well. But Jesus thought of each of us when he said this prayer to the Father, anxious about our safety and concerns, yes, concern that we may be preserved from evil. The call of the Lord then is to remain within the sphere of God and to reject the world and its lies. The challenge for us is real, for we continuously find ourselves between two opposing forces. We find ourselves daily between selfishness 
and disinterested service, between vengeance and forgiveness, violence and peace, hatred and love, division and unity. And for this task, we need to be men and women of discernment. And we cannot do this unless we pray constantly, getting in touch with the Holy Spirit and immerse ourselves in God's words. And confident then in God's abiding presence and support, we are emboldened to glorify Him in all that we do, in joy and in sorrow, in the manner Jesus has prescribed for us on the cross, to give oneself generously and to love selflessly. In this Mass, as we continue, we remember all our frontliners who, by their quiet and dedicated service, continue to glorify the Lord. Amen. Christ our Lord predicted his saving death and resurrection. Through him, the suffering servant, let us bring our petitions to the Father of all mercies. For every petition, let your response be, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. That the leaders of the church may show us a clear vision of patient endurance in the turmoil of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the nations may know the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom he has sent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may work and pray for the unity of all who bear the name of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may unite their sufferings with those of Jesus on the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers that those who have gone before us in this life may receive the eternal reward promised to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We also pray for those celebrating their birthdays, especially for Meiling Vergara C., Nestor Cabrera, Trina Rakitico, Jenny Lynn Lee, and Victoria Principal Bichik, the Malanta of the Ateneo Senior High School. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And we also pray for our dearly departed, especially for Dr. Eduardo Mercado, for Jenny Ting, for Dr. Ernesto Roque, for Grace Gaston Sabal, for Alejandrina Fernandez. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We also include in our prayers our Muslim brothers and sisters as they celebrate the end of the holy period of Ramadan. For them and their intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the special intentions of Bambi Roque, Mike and Ange Bulan, William Manahan Gomez, Adrian and Pia Mendoza, for Lisian Abelia Puno from Susilu de la Rama, and for the ABS-CBN family intentions, for this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all the intentions that you have sent us here at Facebook pages of JESCOM and Radio Katipunan, for these intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Father, you glorified your Son, and in Him we will be glorified. Welcome our prayers because we belong to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Lord, God of all creation. 
salvation for your goodness. We have this wine to offer through the divine work of your hands. This will become for us our spiritual bread. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sacrifice from your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity, and therefore overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavens, heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink, drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Philip Neri, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. In confidence and with the same affection as our Lord Jesus, 
we call on God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. And the mingling of this body and blood of Christ bring eternal life to those who receive it. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take away the sins of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God. This is he who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
My child, you need not fear. The dark will set you free. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity to Christ our Lord. Amen. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the 2019 and coronavirus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition, in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may the blessings of the Almighty God be upon you all and remain with you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is completed. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God.